here in another mod spotlight, and this mod spotlight is called the Smart Moving Mod. And, uh, yeah, this is practically, you know, smart moving. Uh, well, the last time we were here in Spotlight Town, we were doing the player models, and this is practically competition for it, right? Because this mod, it ha adds movements just like player models. But these do a lot more. They do abilities, you could say, right? So the first one I want to show you, pros, right here, is sliding. You're like, Spike? There's no such thing as sliding in Minecraft. Right, cow? Right, cow? Psych. In this mod, there is. So all you have to do, well, first let me show you the controls right here. So there's a grab button, a sprint button, uh, these are increased speed and decreased speed. This, these just practically make you faster or slower if you're in creative or something and you want to fly faster. And it's just really overpowered. So the grab button, let me show you what grab does. You could climb stuff, right? Just like this. Mm. Right, let me show that in fifth person right there. Oh, well, yeah. Totally. Right? And that, that's set to R, so I just press R and just press forward, and you could do that. And the sprint button is practically double tap, but in one button. And you have exhaustion, as you can see the little lightning bolts down there. Once they run out, my character stops running, and he gets exhausted, and he has to take a breath while the lightning bolts regain. And this cow, he's so annoying, he just wants to be here. So let's just show you the, the sliding part. So what you have to do is sprint, uh, press R, and then start sprinting, and then let go. So here we go. R. Oh, God darn it, pros. It's so hard to do this sometimes. So R, and then, wait, no. It's R, sprint, and then shift. Yeah, there you go. It's, it's, there's a bunch of buttons, so let me show that again. It's pre You have to hold R, sprint, and then press shift. So R. Sprint, shift, and you can see that my little body is just like, woo! And you can slide under blocks, as you saw there. I was sliding under the little podium I made there, so yeah, look at that. And that brings us to crawling, all right? So all you have to do is press shift and R, and your character will get down on his belly, get sniper position, and you could crawl under one blocks. And it's very slow, unless you press Y, and you could sort of speed things up, but exhaustion will stop you. And it's a very long process, but you can make secret bases like this. See my little butter home right here? I could keep wolves in here, and then take them out, just like that. So that griefers won't get my wolves. You learn something new every day, pros, right? So, so as I was saying before, the grab button, but there's something else that you could do as well. Right here, I built a little tower. You could wall jump. If you press shift and then hold the, the space bar, you'll see that I have little blue arrows that charged up. And if you let go, you'll jump two blocks high. Right? And if I grab button, right, it'll bring me up. It'll make me climb blocks, right? So if you combine the two, press shift and then jump. Oh, God. Everything's so close together. Press shift and then jump. And then press R, you could climb up this. You see that? Oh, my God, look at me being an acrobat and such. And now, right here, you can see that there's lava. And maybe I want to get to that side. Maybe there's a whole lava pool right here. I could shift, jump, shift, jump, and then press R. And it'll stop me midway. And you could sort of shimmy across to the other side. And then get your diamonds right here, maybe. Or butter apples. Oh my god, butter apples. So good. And then, now, we're gonna go up there, pros. Well, first, I wanna show you the jumping animations. So right here, you'll see that I can jump sideways. So all you have to do is double tap A to jump to the left. I mean, right, that's the left. Yeah, that's the left. To the left, right there. I don't know my ways. To the left. You just have to double tap it like you're sprinting. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you could press D, double tap D, to sprint to the left, to the right, I mean. God darn it. And if you want to go backwards, you could double tap S. Oh, yeah. So you could be a professional dodger right there, pros. You could be like, uh, uh, yeah. 
Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Look at that, pros. Oh, my God. Amazing. So now we're going to climb up that big tower that I built here. And my brown mushroom right here. The amazing brown mushrooms. Red mushrooms. And right here, you can see that my character, he has lifted up, up his arms. And he has started climbing this tall ladder. And I thought that was really cool. This is probably this is probably my favorite. We used to have this in the mushroom biome, but we took it out for the pros. And I used to climb up my mushroom all happily, climbing up my little tower. And I finally get to the top, and my character pulls himself up, and we're here at the top. And now I'm gonna show you diving. So what you had to do is sprint. Hmm, wait, wait. Sprint. Oh, God. It's, oh, I keep on forgetting. God darn it. Sprint, R, and jump, I believe. Hmm. Let's try this. Sprint, R, jump. God darn it. Well, you see that right there? That's the falling animation where my arms sort of whirl around. And this is Michael Phelps right here. You can swim like a boss right there. Oh, I like it. And you could dive underwater like a fish. And you could swim with the squids. And you could actually sprint underwater as well right there. See my exhaustion level starts going. And you start getting faster. And this led to a lot of deaths, drowning in the mushroom biome. It, it was very bad. But uh, I'm going to come back, bros, in a little while. And I'm going to show you how to dive. So I could show you guys. It could be amazing. So here, back at the top of the diving board right here. And so, so I'm going to show you how to do the dive. So you have to sprint, R, and then let go of space. You got to charge up space. So sprint, R, and then let go. And you dive like an amazing flipping Jesus dog. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it looks amazing. And I really like this mod. That it gives you attributes. Not the player models is bad, but it it doesn't really it sh it's more smoother. It's like vanilla ish, and this is more F8 mode sort of like animation looking thing. This would be good for maybe an animation that you want to do in player models just for fun in your world. And I I guess that's good for people that play by themselves and what most people do. And I'm just going to do one more dive right here because I just love it so much. Oh, God darn, I can't dive for my life. I used to not be able to do it at all. I finally mastered it, bros. And, f and that brings us to the last thing, which is the creative mode, flying. I'm going to switch to creative mode here. And in creative mode, you are Superman. You fly like Jesus. Look at that. Oh, You can fly amazingly, do a nice tour, be like, Dun, 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 dun. Cow, stay away from that lava. Whoa! And you, and if you stop, your arms just sort of sway around while your character sits there and swings his hand. Maybe in creative mode, you could just be building. And it looks really cool. That looks wrong. But, you know, who cares what it looks like? I'm Spikey Pros. Thanks for watching this spotlight. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and favorite if you did. And, uh, that's it. Hey, what's going on, pros? It's Diggy Man here, and I'm, this is part of the video I show you how to install Smart Moving because it was requested by some of the pros, and it is different from all the other mods. So let's get down to it. First thing you're going to do is download all three of these down onto your desktop. The Minecraft Forge, um, the Rendering Player a API, for 1.5.1 okay all this is all 1.5.1 minecraft mods okay so make sure you have all these the player api and the smart moving i got the 13.6 version here but they're all pretty much i think it's up to um what is it here let me see um Oh yeah, it updated 13.7. So you can see all the downloads right here. Um, you got the API right here. You got the rendering API. The rendering 
the only reason you need the rendering for is if you're modding other mods into it and you have conflicts, you put the render API, player API in there, and it helps out with the um, problems of conflicts. Okay, so we really don't need it if you're only going to use uh, smart moving. You only need the player API, the regular player API, not the rendering. So we're going to do the install just with the player API because we have no other mods installed. So after you have these mods down on your desktop, we're going to come down to your start button. You're going to put percentage, app, data, percentage. You're going to go up to your roaming. You're going to hit that and you're going to find your dot .minecraft. And uh, first thing you're going to do is open up your bin right here. And you're going to find your Minecraft jar file. You're going to right click it and open it up with WinRAR or 7-Zip. I have the WinRAR um, link underneath this video so you can find it there. Alright, so uh, next thing you do is find this meta in file inside your Minecraft jar file. And you're going to right click it and delete that file. And goodbye. Next thing you're going to do is open up your Minecraft Forge with your WinRAR. Like so. And you're going to right click it all and select all files. All files should be highlighted and left click it. Hold it down this time and drag it right into your Minecraft jar file and let go. And you're going to see this little thing and you're going to press OK. And that's cool. Then you're going to close all windows out and start up your Minecraft. So Forge could install itself. As you can see, it's installing itself, doing its job, and bang, it's done. Now, make sure to delete that meta imp because if not, you will get a black screen at this point already. So, there we go, uh, Minecraft Coder Pack, Mod Loader, and the Minecraft Forge. Let's close out Minecraft and close that down. Come down to your Start button again, put Percentage App Data Percentage, go up to your Roaming, and find your .minecraft folder. Now you're going to notice that My, uh, Forge has uh, made some new files here. The one you're interested in is Mods. So you're going to open that up. Okay, it is empty. Now, I'm going to take it a little bit slower here so you guys can understand what I'm doing. So, you're going to go up to your Smart Moving. You're going to open it up with WinRAR. And you're going to see two folders in here. One that stands alone. This is, you don't need no mod loader, no forage, no nothing. But if you're going to use different mods in here, you're going to need this, this one. Okay? The one on top that says Mod Loader and Forge. So you're going to grab this one, left click it, hold it down, and just drag it into your Mods folder. Like so. Okay? And close out Smart Moving. Now, with the Player API, that's the link is underneath right here in Smart Moving. You're going to see it here, Player API Universal. You're going to download that one. Okay? And you're going to open it up with WinRAR, and you're going to see a bunch of files in here, no zips in here, and you're like, whoa, what am I going to do with this? Come on, Diggy, help me out. Well, it's as easy as this. You're going to go down to your bin. You're going to open it up and open up your Minecraft jar file again. This is going to go directly into your jar file. Okay, guys? So... You're going to left-click one of these and right-click it real quick and select all files. All files should be highlighted in this Player API Universal. You're going to left-click it, hold it down, and just drag it right into this empty space over here and let go. And press OK. Now it's downloaded into your bin. Now, Smart Moving should be working. Start up your Minecraft and you're going to see that a fifth mod has been added in here. Player API is not a mod. It's just a rendering for... And you can see a fifth. There you go. Smart Moving is downloaded. And, and Smart Moving rendering. Oh, it's in there. I didn't know that. So you don't have to download it. It's already Im implemented inside that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so... Uh, why not close Minecraft out? I always like to start up a new world and show you that it did work. So let's check that out. 
Um, we're going to go and create a world. So I want to be Superman and fly around a little bit. Ah, oh, brand new world. I feel, I feel, I feel super. Superman! Yes. I will defeat all creepers and all chickens must die in this world. I am Diggy Man and I hope this helped you this, uh, this install and spotlight and Spikey enjoyed making this spotlight. He explained a whole lot. Make sure to leave us a like guys and I want to reach like 1,000. Spikey said 25, but I want all of you that watch this video to give us a like, to show us the appreciation. Come on, pros. You can do it. I am Diggy Man from the Venture Pros, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, pros.